Okay, Rainbows, we are back with another episode of The Royal Family. We have a lot to cover in this episode. Um, there's gonna be some very intense drama, as you could tell from the intro. So we'll talk about the intro in a little bit, and we will also be coming back to the Guangxi Royal Family and that whole thing in a little bit too, because I'm sure you guys are excited after seeing the intro. I did actually post a prequel on my Instagram. So I think a lot of you guys are already following me on my Instagram, but if you're not, I kind of said like I'm just posting memories of the royal family on there so you guys can follow me if you want. But now I'm posting a few more things that are more relevant to the story and add more to the story. So I posted a prequel to this episode and I will put the link to that specific post in the description below. And then that way you guys can follow me if you wanna see more. But it was basically about Han and his sister Tai before they came to the Guangxi Palace to meet Araminta for lunch. So yeah, that link is in the description below. If you just wanna click it real quick, it will not take long to read. So you guys can check that out if you want to. And then I'm probably going to be posting other scenes and stuff on there that don't make it into my videos because there's a lot more poses out there than there are animations. So I'm kind of limited to the things I can put in machinimas, especially with kids and stuff because there's really not that many animations for kids. And then they're just like small little detailed scenes in there that I just didn't know if it would be too much if I added to the videos. So I don't want to overload you guys with it. But yeah, so my Instagram is at mirrorray underscore royal. So that is in the video description below. So just make sure to check that out. But yeah, so in this video, we are going to go take a look at Emperor Zhao's murder case. So I'll fill you guys in on that later. Another thing I want to do is we're going to come back to the Oasis Springs Palace because we were here in the last episode because Aisha and Maxwell are going to be here. And Naya and Philip are going to talk to both of them. And then I wanted to do, I wanted Cornelius to invite Ellis over for dinner. But I don't think we're gonna be able to do that in this episode because I didn't even see this. I didn't see this happen, but Queen Cora died. And I was, oh my God, I loved her so much. She was one of my favorites. So just because they're in mourning, I feel like they're going to be doing the funeral and stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna show that in the video just cause I'm still having the glitch where like people aren't showing up to parties. And I think maybe in the next episode we can have Cornelius invite Ellis over for dinner. But yeah, so we're at the Oasis Springs Palace. Aisha has already invited over Maxwell. So sh he should be here soon. So in the, thank you guys for those of you who joined my Twitch stream the other day. I did also want to let you guys know too because I got some questions about it. Twitch will not be replacing my YouTube channel. I'll still be posting the same number of videos. I will just be Twitch streaming the background stuff. So what we did on my stream, we're still not done with the Oasis Springs Palace, but we had renovated it. So this right here now, this is Aisha's room and we're still working on Kimberly's room. I'm still trying to find some different custom content that I like. Actually, I didn't like it very much during the stream. I think it's the walls that bothered me because they look a bit very bare but when they're down, the, her room doesn't look that bad. I think it just needs a little bit more in there. And then Manuel's room, we haven't started yet. And then I have not finished Naya and Philip's room either. So that's why I have not uploaded this palace to the gallery yet, but I'll be finishing it up. If you guys can't join the stream, you guys can at least follow me and it'll notify you when I am streaming. I will try to keep you guys updated on here as well, but I just don't have a set schedule yet. But yes, follow me on Twitch at Mira underscore. And then I'm also working on having a separate YouTube channel where I just upload my streams. I just have to figure out how to do that. And I will let you guys know when I do. Okay, so uh, not Manuel. Maxwell should be here. Oh, there he is. Okay, so in the last episode, you guys saw the whole drama thing. I did get a comment that said that they hate how the girls usually get blamed for things like this. Like Maxwell is more in the wrong because he's the one that has the girlfriend. And that's a good point. I just didn't think about it because we were playing from the Royal Family of Oasis Springs point of view. So I didn't think that Nay and Philip would like go tell Maxwell's parents. And I don't think Naya wanted to be the one to tell her niece Rosalind about it or her brother Rosalind's parents either. So I think she made Aisha invite Maxwell over. So Nate and Philip are about to lecture Maxwell and Aisha. So we're gonna have them talk over here. I might have to add a Maxwell to our household just cause it's easier to control him when he's in our household. I like everyone coming to sit here and chat. So we're gonna have Naya and Philip sit here. And we're gonna have Aisha and Maxwell sit over here. So Naya and Philip 
Philip are about to give them a bit of a lecture, but they are telling Aisha and Maxwell that they need to break it off. They had already had a conversation, or Naya had a conversation with Aisha about it, telling her that she needs to do this too, but that she thinks it'd be best for Maxwell to come here so she can hold them both responsible for it because Maxwell is in the wrong too. I think they're equally in the wrong. Aisha knows that he has a girlfriend and Maxwell has a girlfriend and is still doing this horrible thing. In my defense too, I don't think I have done this with most of the couples, like blame the women, because I wouldn't want to do that. But like, you guys are welcome to call me out nicely if I do do something like this, because I don't want to do that. But with like Charles and Kimberly, like Charles was in the wrong there. I'm pretty sure we blamed Charles and we didn't blame Kimberly because Kimberly didn't really know the whole situation. But yeah, anyway, so Naya is telling Maxwell, like you need to tell Rosalind because otherwise I will tell my brother about it. So she's holding them both responsible. I feel like that Naya and Philip's style on parenting is to trust them and hold them, like treat them as adults. And if they break that trust, then you can do something else. But so she's giving him the chance to go tell Rosalind himself. And then she's just telling them that they need to stop seeing each other too. And I feel like Philip, he wasn't really there. He's just sitting out right now. But I feel like Philip wasn't really there when Naya talked to Aisha about it. Cause I mentioned that he didn't really want to be in the last episode. But I think for this, they both should be here. Both Naya and Philip should be here. So yeah, okay. So they've told them that. So Aisha, you need to tell Maxwell that you guys are just friends. So that's not gonna really affect their relationship too much, I don't think. If you just ask to be friends, it just like affects their romance relationship and like brings it down to neutral. Yep, there you go. Now that, okay, so that happened. All right, so they have now cooled it off. I'm going to, I think I need to remove Maxwell from the household in managed worlds because otherwise it's just gonna kick him out into some random household. And then Arya and Gabriel, they haven't seen each other. They've been good. They don't want to risk it. Arya's grounded. She's not going anywhere. Kimberly is fine. Her and Makana are still cute. Her parents didn't really talk to her about the whole mention of Charles just because it happened a while ago, so they didn't think it was necessary to mention. But her and Makana are super cute. We'll focus on them a little bit more later. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead, save and manage worlds. So we're gonna go to the Guangxi Palace. Oh, and I do need to talk about this too, because if you guys saw my review of the new mod, it's called Asian Adventures, and it basically replaces Forgotten Hollow and turns it into this new world called Sakura Hills. So if you guys want to check out the whole mod review, you can find that link in the description below. I will link that. But basically, so yeah, so it still says Forgotten Hollow. I'll just show you guys real quick, but it gives you Sakura Hills. So in the actual video, I had replaced all of this with some other Asian inspired buildings for now, because it didn't save. So now I have all the Forgotten Hollow buildings in here, but it replaces Forgotten Hollow. So what I'm going to do is I just want to move Maxwell into his old household real quick. Um, what I'm going to do is do a poll on the community post to ask you guys if you want me to turn Sakura Hills into Han's hometown. It's definitely like a perfect place. It's actually beautiful. I actually love it more than Glimmerbrook, but I'm not going to move them from Glimmerbrook to Sakura Hills. I could actually rename it if I want to. It doesn't even have to be called that because it still says Forgotten Hollow. Yeah, so I could either do that or I could leave Forgotten Hollow open for a possible future vampire kingdom because I don't know if we did another vampire kingdom, I don't know where they would go. I don't think anywhere else really fits. I know people want me to do something in Strangerville, so that is a possibility in the future. So yeah, I'll just do a poll so you guys can let me know. But okay, so we're gonna go to the Guangxi Palace. So for those of you who don't know who the woman was in the end of the intro, so that was Harmony. Just to give you like a quick summary, so she was one of the women that Nea's father, King Adrian of Oasis Springs, had an affair with. He had an affair with like three different women and she just like went crazy. She was banished and then Queen Lindsay like banished her even more and made sure that King Adrian wasn't sending her money. Or no, I'm sorry, no, King Adrian died so then she wasn't getting money anymore. But Queen Lindsay was the one who banished her when she found out about the illegitimate child Charlotte. So then there is an episode called The Queen Gets Kidnapped, which is where Nea gets kidnapped and that was Harmony who had organized the whole thing and her daughter Charlotte helped with that. And then they ran away Way and then we never found them. So I did say in this Q&A video that I did a few weeks ago or a week or two ago, I said that they weren't gonna show up for like 10 to 15 more episodes. And that's because we do have Harmony here, but Charlotte is not here. So Charlotte might show up in a future episode, but we do have Harmony. So basically, so Han and his sister Tai and his brother-in-law Jung and his nephew Shen, they have all left. Han was like in the room though, when she was told about like her father. So I feel like they were like, do you want us to stay? Like, are you, do you need anything? And they were, she was like, no, it's okay. You guys can go. I also 
feel so bad for Han because Han was like trying so hard. He gets so shy and so nervous. And if you guys read the prequel on my Instagram, you guys will see that because she's just so cute. But I, he was gonna ask her if she wanted to go out. Like he was gonna actually ask her out on a date and he was just trying to do that, but he was just taking so long. So the servant was like, I'm, this is a serious thing. Like this is an emergency. Like I'm so sorry to interrupt, but like we gotta go. So we'll see more of Han and Araminta in another episode. I'll maybe post a lot more scenes of Han too on my Instagram because he's so cute and I love him. But so Araminta, they had gone downstairs and then her mother, so I, I have basically put in a little jail dungeon slash thing here. There would technically be one like in the kingdom, but I feel like the castle has one of its own. I guess it's a considered a dungeon, isn't it? But Harmony is down here. So Maylin is filling in her daughter on what they know. So so Harmony was caught. Basically they had this trail that led to her because it was like a, this special kind of poison. So they found out like who sold that. And then they found out who had bought it, which was Harmony. And they have reason to believe that Harmony did this for someone, that she was working for someone. And that's why she did it because Harmony is trying to live. They have like no money and she's trying to support her and her daughter Charlotte and Charlotte's trying to work too. So this was an offer apparently that she had gotten and she won't tell them who she was working with. So I feel like Araminta has been like trying to talk to her too. like because. Araminta can be very intense when she needs to be. She's pretty confident. She's just gotten like this whole thing that happened with Charles kind of messed with her a little bit, but she's pretty confident. But so she was trying to interrogate Harmony too. And her mom's like, trust me, we have tried. She won't tell us anything. But Harmony did let something slip. And that was that she was trying to kill someone else and that she was trying to poison someone else. Basically her saying, I didn't mean to kill the emperor. I didn't mean to kill Emperor Zhao. And they were like, well, who are you trying to kill? I wanted to put this in the intro, but the intro was already so long. But basically Harmony said that she was trying to kill Araminta. So the person who had hired her, hired her to kill Araminta. And there was a mistake because they all get like tea before they go to bed. So like the servants bring them all tea and she had poisoned the wrong one. She thought it was supposed to be going to Araminta, but it ended up going to Emperor Zhao instead. But they have now captured Harmony. They are going to send her off to like a bigger prison. So Harmony's going to be in prison for the remainder of her life. Cause she's, she has this crime that she just did where she just killed someone. And then she tried to kidnap Queen Nea. So she's going to jail for the rest of her life. I mean, she's an elder already. She's tired, she's poor. She's been trying to find ways to like make money. She's been trying to get back at the Oasis Springs royal family, but I think they were just trying to make money to live first and she got this offer. So I feel like now that Araminta, first of all, it's kind of terrifying that she knows that she was supposed to be the victim for this murder, for this poisoning. But I think now she has a little bit of an inkling of who she thinks it is. Harmony is not talking. Harmony is not telling them. So I think they have to interrogate Harmony more and ask her who she's working for. But Harmony just won't say. I feel like it's the sort of thing like she would be killed. Like she's fearing for her daughter that something would happen to her if she were to say who she was working for. But so another thing is we have Prince Takashi here. So Takashi had actually overheard Anya's fight with their father before he passed away, but he hasn't told anyone about that. So he's been stressed because he's wondering if he should tell. Because Anya's still his sister. But I think, I think now, I think he's going to tell Araminta. I think so. Okay, so Araminta's in here. But we're going to tell her what he heard about Anya. Anya's in her room, I think. She's over here. She's feeling tense. Oh, I did not realize there's like people running on her wall. I need to fix that. This is also, this is um, Arya's bed too. I'm going to try to find more custom content so I can change that. Because I want it to be a little bit different. But Takashi is telling Araminta now that he has overheard Anya fighting and saying and getting mad. I don't know why they're talking that way, but that's fine. But basically that Anya had gotten really upset and that she wanted to be the Empress, which Araminta has known her whole life that Anya wants to be Empress. Now that Takashi's telling her this about Anya, I feel like Araminta's kind of having a hunch that Anya could be behind this and she needs to find out more and she needs to be careful. And she can't just like approach Anya with this, but I think she will tell her mother about this though and find out like what they should do. So I did realize too that like I have it like in my head Anya's always been evil and she has her reasons for being evil just because she's had to deal with living in the shadow of Araminta her whole life but it's like other things also so I've never really shown you guys that and a lot of it happened when they're like kids and there's really no good animations for kids so I think for those flashbacks I'm going to post those on Instagram because it's just gonna be really hard to show that with animations because there's really no good animations for children so yeah it'll just be a flashback of their childhood and give 
gives you a little bit more insight on Anya and everything. But, so yeah, so now Araminta knows this. She has to tell Maylin about it, her mother. We'll find out in the future what happens here. I'll like talk about this in the future episodes, but we'll probably come back to this situation in another few episodes, just so I can alternate storylines with other characters. But we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Let me know your thoughts on everything. I know we didn't get to actually like play and see Han in this episode, but we got to see him in the intro. So let me know what you guys think. And then also read the prequel on my Instagram and either comment on my Instagram post or you can comment in the video. Let me know your thoughts on Han and his family. We'll definitely focus on them and learn more about his family in the future. Let me know your thoughts on Harmony being the actual person who killed Emperor Zhao and it being a mistake and then who you think is behind everything. And then let me know your thoughts on Aisha and the Oasis Springs family too, since we got to see them a little bit in this episode as well. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!